Let's graph the linear equation x plus 2y equals 5. We use slope-intercept form to do that. So we want to get this equation here in the form where y is by itself, then we have mx plus b. So let's get y by itself. Subtract x from both sides. That'll give us... And let's move the x first so it looks more like slope-intercept form. Now we can divide both sides by 2 to get y by itself. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so we have 1y, which is just y. And then we have negative x over 2 plus 5 over 2. And we have this in slope-intercept form. So we're going to go to our y-axis here. This is our y-intercept, 5 over 2, which is just 2 and a half. So we go to 2 and a half, and that's where we cross the y-axis. It's our y-intercept. Next, instead of calling this negative x over 2, let's call it negative 1x over 2. It's still negative x over 2, but now we can call the 1 rise and the 2 run. So we go to our y-intercept here. We're going to rise negative 1, which means we're actually going to go down negative 1 to right here, and then we're going to run 2 to the right, 1, 2. So those are our two points. Let's do a third one, make sure we got this right. We go to our new point, we're going to go down, we're going to rise negative 1, then we're going to go to the right, 2, run 2 to the right. There's our line. Let's put a line through that. And then we'll put arrows, so this goes to infinity, and that's the graph for x plus 2y equals 5. Our slope, that's negative 1 over 2, and our y-intercept, that's 5 over 2, 5 halves. If you used a table of values, you'd end up with the same line. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.